it's time for some wizards conjuring up potions. Hey guys, welcome to Letitia Houston Art. We're in spreading a little light to the world through the canvas. So today I'm going to show you the steps of me creating my wizard and he's conjuring up a potion. So this is just me showing you, oh there's a crazy bird in the background. Okay. You hear that? Okay, anyway, <laughs> back to this channel. <laughs> I'm creating my wizard and I'm conjuring up a potion and I'm just going to take you through the steps and the processes that I use to work on it and it's from my first ever children's book that I'm creating um, I hope that you enjoy the video and you hit subscribe because I've got a lot more videos on the way uh, to show you what I'm up to and I'll see you soon okay so it's wizard making time so with this wizard I've sketched it out first and I use a 2B pencil to sketch it out and then I use a Copic multi-liner I use a really small liner so it's a 0.05 or a 0.03 I love working with them because I can create intricate details and you can see everything pop out um, so here I'm using the watercolor to get the background down first I would use Mikador watercolors which are really rich and vibrant really bright colors which is really cool for me because if you've been watching my channel or looking at my artwork you can see that I I use a lot of color with my work um, and I also use these really cool fine tip markers um, to get in itty bitty little spaces because it's really can be quite difficult if you're using watercolor to get in tight spaces even if you're using a small brush like if you want to keep the the color really detailed so they act like watercolors as well so they can spread so that's pretty cool as well um, often when I'm you know working on paper I will mix the two colors um, together directly on the paper to get the mix that I want so in this case I'm using the red and the blue mixing it to purple I keep it really light first base color um, light to dark is better with watercolor to begin with because you can build your layers up so that's kind of how I work so I'm getting the layers down on the wizard's brim I also use watercolor pencils so you'll see me use it on the the face of the wizard because I wanted a sort of a paler tone and sometimes it's easier when you use a pencil you get a softer softer effect Segway, thunder and lightning. So I thought I'd show you guys. This is my workspace. And then we're back to business. So you can kind of see like all the foundation is sort of set. You can see all the cosmic colors coming out from the wizard's potion. So we'll set that up. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I've got a gold eyeglass on my wizard. And I use a lot of gold in my work. Uh, my signature is gold. You see me use it throughout. Um, in this case, yeah, he's got an eyeglass that's gold acrylic, which is really cool. And then you can see here what I talked about where I'm adding depth now. So I'm adding the next layer on top of the, the wizard's hat. And it's a lot easier to do it that way because trying to pull back a dark color on watercolor can be really difficult. And we've got acrylic white for the sparkle in the eyes. That's kind of the progress for this particular illustration so we're kind of getting everything down and uh, I feel like it's coming along well don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for my next videos I've got a whole bunch coming I think I'm doing two a week so you'll see me ramp it up a little bit and uh, I hope to see you on my channel thanks for your support I'm over on patreon as well and the link is in the description underneath this video so i hope to see you there as well so guys i'll check you later for now have a good one happy holidays